Do you want to know if any of your accounts have been compromised? Well, let me show you how to do it. The way to do it is to go to this website, haveibeenpwned.com. Okay, this is the website that everyone recommends. So if you're on a news article and they're saying there's been a big data breach, this is the place that they say to use. And I've been using this for a long time as well. What you then do, put, you put your email address in here, and I apologize, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put johnsmith at gmail. Dot com. Uh, John Smith, I don't know you. I'm just putting in an email address. Okay, so John Smith at email at gmail.com. I'll then click on pwned. Give it a moment. And it will then tell me if this has been compromised. So let's have a look down here. So it has been compromised in all of these different locations. So Adobe, that's a famous one. Um, Apollo, you know, all of these. Audi, lots of places it's been compromised. Okay, so let me do it with a proper email address. Let's do it with my email address. So this is not my one I use all the time. This is a very old one, which essentially I don't use, but I'm gonna blur it out anyway. But I can assure you that this is 100% my email address. All right, so that's blurred out, but I'll click pwned and let's have a look. Oh no, it's been pwned and it has been pwned. I know that it's been 14 data breaches. Okay, so let's have a look. So what's famous on here? So Canva, that's definitely famous. We've got Last.fm. I definitely know that was a, there was a problem on there. I remember getting an email about that. MySpace, yeah, I actually used MySpace with that email address. Um, Twitter, so so some big ones, right? So they've actually, what's happened is there's been a data breach. Let's give MySpace as an example. Uh, 2008, MySpace suffered a data breach that exposed almost a 360 million accounts. So what happens? Well, it means it exposed them. It means that essentially all of the email addresses have been taken out there along with all the passwords. Okay, so that is a problem. Now, why is it a problem? You know, I'm not using MySpace and who cares if someone's got access to my MySpace account? I don't care. Well, the reason it's a problem is because within that MySpace account, you still got information in there. You probably still get your date of birth listed in there. You might have your address in there. So there is some information. Um, but what's more important is that the email address and the password that you use with MySpace, you might have used it with other locations. Uh, I'll give you an example. So let's open up a spreadsheet. All right, so this is, a, this is a spreadsheet of some, by the way, this is made up data. Okay, so we've got email addresses and passwords. These are all made up. So you know, I literally just created a random list of, of emails and a random list of passwords. Right, let's have a look. So it's so a vmalik at gmail.com and that's the password. Yeah, so who cares if this was exposed, you know? So vmalik, you know, we know his email address, we know his password for, let's pretend that this is for MySpace. Yeah. It's not, but let's just pretend it is. Does it matter? Well, the problem is that vmalik might also be using this email address and this password for Amazon, and they might be using it for the bank, and they might be using it for lots of other places as well. So yes, it is a problem, because let's be honest, all of us, not me, of course not, of course not me, but everyone, uses the email address and the password multiple times. So the odds are, if you're gonna be you know, having having lots of different accounts with different companies, you can have the same email address and often the same password. Now, I don't recommend it, but that's what we do. So what would happen is I get this information, so I'm a hacker and I've been sent this big list of, of email addresses down here. Um, and I've been sent this for vmalik uh, email address and password. I'll then go on to Amazon and I'll try it and I'll see if I can get in. You know, I'll go on to other websites as well. I'll go on to, uh, you know, lots of different websites and then I can, if I see if I can get in. One day I'm going to get lucky. And then once I've got into the account, I've got information. I can then purchase things and get them sent to my address. Maybe I can do buy some online gift vouchers of which you don't need to go to a physical address. So it's nice and easy. Um, I might have access again to more information. So imagine if I using this email address and this password, I've got access to their Facebook, you know, their Instagram account, their Twitter accounts, and along with Amazon, along with their banks, along with, you know, everywhere they do their shopping, you know, it becomes a problem. So what do you need to do? Well, once you put your email address in and you've got this big list of uh, companies or websites where there's been a data breach, you need to make a change. It's as simple as that. You need to change things. So you need to go on to, in this case, Last.fm, and you need to change your password on that. And there we go. MySpace, again, I need to go on there and I need to change my password. Yeah. All of these websites here, so Twitter, I need to go and change my password just to make sure that nothing has been exposed to a list of scammers. Well, 
it has been listed yeah it has been exposed but i need to make that change to stop anyone doing anything with it so you know, it actually says in this myspace one that email addresses passwords and usernames were exposed yeah that was the compromised data so go onto those different websites and make those changes and then they'll keep you safe hopefully you found this video useful if so please like the video and subscribe to my channel i'll keep giving you top tech tips and uh, thank you very much now go on go and check go and check your email address on howibeenpwned.com and uh, make those changes